Hello and welcome to this tutorial on E and Z stereoisomers. Now I know a lot of you will be familiar with cis and trans uh, nomenclature for naming um, the configuration around a double bond, but you'll find that the E and Z um, nomenclature is far superior. So if we look at this uh, butene molecule, we'll quickly be able to spot it's trans because that means across, like transatlantic and things like that. But is it E or Z? Well, we don't know what that is yet, do we? So let's let's have a look at this. Entgegen actually means opposite side. Okay, so it's actually this particular one was uh, E. If we put them on both sides, we'll be able to identify it as cis, and if because that means together, uh, from the Latin meaning together. But if we look at uh, E or Z nomenclature, uh, Z just means it's on the same side. Z comes from the word zusman. Uh, meaning together in the German. Now if we have a structure like this, it can be a bit more complicated. We can name it as trans 1 bromo 1 fluoropropene, or we can name it cis 1 fluoro 1 bromopropene. Sounds similar, but it's obviously different. So which one is it? Well, that's where E and Z uh, nomenclature really um, are superior to cis and trans nomenclature, because we use the Carningle prelog type of naming system we give a priority. Bromine has got priority over fluorine because it's a higher atomic number. So looking at this compound because uh, bromine is on the opposite side to the methyl group we would call this E1 bromo 1 fluoropropene and if you just draw a line across uh, like this you should be able to see that um, the higher priority group is on the opposite side. So it's entgegen, E. Now if we swap the bromine and fluorine around, you have to uh, watch this, it's quite subtle. There we are, we've swapped them around. It becomes the Z, one bromo, one fluoropropene. So that's a quick introduction to the E and Z uh, naming system. I'll put a lot more examples and worksheets up on Epistemio um, if you care to have some practice with this kind of naming system. But really, it all comes down to the Carningle prelog type of um, nomenclature, where we give priority to certain species, uh, sorry, certain atoms and parts of molecules. So that's it for now. Bye for now.